Have you ever tried to use the Big Screen VR app where you can stream your desktop to a massive screen in a movie theater and share it with your friends, but you can't get the sound to work correctly? Well, fear not. I sat down with Miles and a couple of the devs from Big Screen and in Big Screen, and they explained it all to me, and now I have it working great. So let me save you hours and hours of frustrating troubleshooting and show you how to exactly get this great program working perfectly. So, for those of you who don't know, Big Screen VR is a social app where you can pick from several different environments like fancy apartments and several different movie theaters, including I think a drive-in, and, and you can rent movies or share your desktop and on the big screen and watch videos together from your PC. It's just a fantastic experience because if you're sitting with your friend's avatars, their, their essence is still there. So you really feel present with them and it's, it's just a great way to hang out. Unless, of course, you run into audio issues. And there are multiple guides out there, uh, from official ones to other ones, and they kind of conflict in, in a few areas, and they make the whole process way more confusing than it has to be. But after sitting down with Miles, Peregrine, and Ty, I have distilled this down to a very simple basics uh, that we could have you up and running in no time. So let's get to it. Yeah. Okay, first, before you begin, have your audio set up on your PC down to basics. As you can see here, I have my audio default set to my Rift S and my mic default communication device is set to the Antlion Audio. All right, now let's go ahead and launch into big screen and then I'll show you how to get all of that done. Okay, so big screen is, is launched. You may see a box pop up that says your audio devices have changed. Just disregard that for now. We don't care. We're not because that, that's kind of confusing. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install your drivers. So. Go ahead down here to go to settings and go to audio right over here click that and this box right here will say install driver mine says uninstall because my drivers are already installed also make sure that your playback device and your microphone device up here are set always to your defaults okay that's really important it may uh you'll click on here you'll have other stuff you don't want to use that other stuff just use your defaults <laughs> all right so click install driver things are probably going to freeze up on you a little bit what i usually do is i just click the menu button on my right bring up this screen that or my my desktop and then just click yes it'll ask you you know if you want to allow to make changes do that and then your driver should be installed at that point now that that's happened you need to back out of big screen just close the program down completely and then come back in and then your your device your driver should be set up properly at that point um, another thing that'll happen uh, and, and if that doesn't work you might have to completely reboot your computer but something else that might happen is once you here let's bring this down here once you uh, 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 install those drivers, at least for Windows 11 and my computer, what, my, what Windows 11 loves to do is it makes big screen audio stream my main thing, my default device. And that's not what I want. I want it to be Rift S. So you may, if you're on Windows 11, you may have to click it back down to Rift S. Okay? Because this is just sits in the background. The, this needs to be your default. And with your microphone, you may have to, sometimes you may, you may even have to go down to more sound settings here bring this up go into your microphone and then go right up and through into this and make sure that this is set as your default communications device um but anyway you've got that all set let's go ahead and close you down now we don't have to worry about you anymore all right so let's pretend you've backed out and you've come back in now the best thing to do at this point is you go ahead and start a video and this is really important odds. the While video has to be played this movie by the way is so amazing you got to go see it but uh anyway <laughs> make sure that the video is playing the and then you click refresh audio down here to their darkest and this is in your desktop right there home desktop for the franchise that should make it so that everybody can hear the sound if if you're playing a video and people are sitting with you and they're like i can't hear anything make sure the video stays playing go to home 
desktop and then click refresh audio while the video is playing and boom, it should be working just fine. That's something I never realized the whole time. We've spent hours. I was like, well, I just think this button is here just to tease us because I was like, oh, well, people can't hear it. I turn it off. I hit refresh audio. Audio actually has to be playing apparently uh, <laughs> for to, to be able to refresh it. I, I did not realize that. So hopefully that clears that up because I think that one little thing right there is going to solve so many people's issues. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. So there you go, guys. That's all you have to do. I mean, this program is fantastic. You could just go into your, go into your environments. Look at all of these different environments that you can go into to play. This is one of my favorites. It's a sci-fi theater. Um, you know, you come in here and you could just, you've got the whole, this great big freaking theater. You're out in space. It feels so much like you're sitting in a real movie theater, but I'm in my nice comfy recliner, which a lot of theaters have those now. Uh, but yeah, and then you can just sit down with your friends and you watch whatever you want to watch. You know, YouTube videos, uh, videos on your computer. You've got this big, massive screen. Your friends are sitting right there with you. Uh, this program is so awesome. So I'm so glad that, you know, Miles and uh, the their community manager and one of the QA guys, I can't remember their two names, but I'll put them in my other audio, sat down with us so that we could sit down and and do this and 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 learn how to do this properly because like i said the guy the reading guides are just a little bit confusing so hopefully this like step by step will help all of you that are having issues um but anyway that's it for me uh thanks so much guys for uh watching if you like this video found it helpful click a like and subscribe i'd greatly appreciate it uh go get yourself a copy of big screen if you haven't got it and uh yeah so th this is just so freaking cool anyway guys thanks for watching dr greg out